Welcome to Mid South Outdoor Life, a channel dedicated to an active outdoor lifestyle, bringing you content like blue catfishing videos, mountain biking and hiking videos, flathead catfishing videos. We'll do some high performance watercraft reviews, some blue catfishing tips and tricks videos, gotta do truck and ATV reviews, some bass fishing videos. We'll even do some monster blue catfishing videos, some motorcycle and dirt bike reviews, some hunting and firearm reviews, and we'll get back to that monster blue catfishing because we love blue catfishing on this channel. The point is, if any or all of these topics interest you, you should look below the screen and click that subscribe button so that you don't miss a thing. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, Quentin here with Mid South Outdoor Life. I'm coming to you today with another product spotlight video because I have found something that I think is going to save me a lot of time and some hassle when I'm out on the water, so I wanted to share it with you. Uh, for Christmas, one of the gifts that I got was this box from Rig Wrap. Now, I have seen Rig Wrap at like fishing shows and stuff before, uh, but I didn't really get it. Uh, now, they're a small U.S. company. They're based out of Florida. They make all kinds of storage solutions for fishermen. Uh, I get that part. But I saw these little containers and I thought, man, that's that's just a whole bunch of stuff. What, what do I need that for? Well, tournament fishermen like them because they'll they'll make pre-tied rigs and I guess it saves them time out on the water uh, not having to tie rigs when they break off. Um, I'm not a tournament fisherman, so that never really appealed to me. However, these bigger boxes here, this really appeals to me because I found a way to use them that's going to be really cool. I use a lot of sabiki rigs for bait fishing. If you've ever used a sabiki rig, you know that once you take it out of a package, let's say that you are buying store-bought rigs, you're not tying them yourself. I do a little bit of both, but uh, you take it out of the package, you use it one time, as soon as you want to change colors, you got a mess. You're probably going to throw this away because you're not going to get it back in the package. It's just going to be a tangled up mess and there went three to five dollars depending on what you paid for them, where you bought them, what brand they were. And that's a waste of money. Uh, I'm not into that. What I was doing is I was coiling them up around these pieces of foam. Problem with that is, well, as you can see, it's already uncoiling. That's a problem. But mono has a lot of memory. So you coil it tightly around this foam, and then two weeks or two months later, you try to use it again, it's a coiled up mess. So not exactly ideal. But these things, there's all these different holes and these, all these different ways to use this. I mean, some of the holes are for airflow, so it dries out and doesn't rust in your box. That's groovy, but. To me, it just makes it versatile. So what I'm doing, I take one end of my sabiki rig, and like in this case, I'm gonna just I'm gonna use this this little post here. I don't know why they put it there. I don't know if it was for this method or not, but it's what I'm doing with it. Just run it around the uh, the line keepers here. I don't care where the jigs fall because they're just gonna sit in the base of the container. So I'll just let them land wherever. Just run it around there like that. All right get to the end and then I'm just going to run this swivel right out one of these top holes so that the lid will close nicely. Check that out. So what I was going to have to throw away or deal with a knotted mess in my tackle box is stored now and I can reuse it. So what I'm going to do, like I said, these aren't really my thing because I don't really pre-tie my leaders, but these rigs, these bigger ones, Super handy for sabiki rigs. So I'm gonna order like a dozen of these and maybe a couple of these. I think these pick these uh, pink ones will be good for uh, sabiki rigs up to like five or six jigs, you know, the really long ones. And these will probably handle three jigs really easy. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get a few more of these, a few more of these, and it's an awesome storage solution for sabiki. Rig wrap, if you don't know them, check them out. They've got a website, and I'll put a link in the description for this video. Thanks for watching. If you're into uh, videos like this, product reviews, or just fishing videos, look below the screen, find the subscribe button, click it. There's a bell there if you want notifications. Click that, you'll know about all my uploads. Thanks a lot. <laughs>